Attention, this video is approved by Stalin. Stalin takes all the credit of all the shots in this video. Not a single shot in this video is a result of praying to the RNG gods. In this game, Stalin took all the responsibility. If you want Stalin to help you in a game of World of Tanks, just play a Russian tank and drink a lot of vodka at the same time. Enjoy the video. Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and welcome back to another World of Tanks subscriber replays episode. This is number 8 already, and guys, this is going to be, again, an amazing replay. A replay that I totally did not expect to get sent in, and yep. <laughs> As we can see, this video is fully approved by Stalin himself. So let's see what Apple Tank can do for us in his T-150. The T-150... Uh, it's a tank that I played through myself. It's been a very long time though since I've been uh, playing this tank through. At that moment I wasn't fully understanding the game very well. So um, my my game records will not be very good in this tank. Not that that really matters because Apple Tank is going to show us how this tank needs to be played. So this tank gets a 107mm with 100 and. 167mm of penetration and 300 alpha damage enabling you to one shot tier 4 tanks as we can see so Himmelsdorf he's on the hill side of a VK he will gladly take that shot of course so as we can see the VK retreats yeah he doesn't really want to get hit by that 300 alpha damage gun again I guess but as we can see long before the action started before apple tank he wasn't even on the hill yet he wasn't even in his position and the team was already doing badly and now he's, it, the team is still doing badly the scores are 5 to 10 for the enemy team how will apple tank be able to get back into this game and it's not an easy task because when you're outnumbered it is very hard to take down multiple tanks so this is going to be a very wise lesson for a lot of players how to handle a situation when you are outnumbered. So as we can see Apple Tank sees that his base is, uh, is threatened by the T-150. Probably because his last uh, spot location is near the base. So that's exactly what he's going to do now. So as we can see he is top tier though. It is a very good matchup. But still. This is going to be an amazing replay guys. Trust me. So the T-150 misses a lot of his shots. Apple Tank isn't really afraid of the T-150 here. And look at those shots, man. 342 damage done there. Just amazing. This gun, this alpha damage. Just all the time in the world. And he takes down the T-150. Which is nice. So now it is 2 versus 6, guys. 2 versus 6. And look on the minimap. There's a KV-2 last be spotted on the hill. Apple Tank sees this and he reacts really well. He turns his turret around already so that he is ready to... Uh, immediately put a shot into the KV-2 if he comes around. He bounces. Luckily the KV-2 misses. So that enables Apple Tank to run away from the KV-2. He knows the KV-2 has got a very long reload. So he will easily be able to run away from this guy. So. He is in the safety of his own base now. And as we can see the KV-2 has lost be spotted there. And all the rest of the enemy tanks. At least the tanks that have been spotted. Have lost been spotted on the other side of the map. There's only a Gorilla left on his team. How will he be able to do this, guys? So, KV2 gets spotted. He puts a shot in. KV2 misses again, which is nice. And now, a Marder 38T gets spotted behind him. Apple Tank does not tunnel vision, luckily. And he has got a one shot. And yep. <laughs> Stalin at the game again, guys. Stalin is informed today. So, how will he be able to do this now? He knows the KV-2 has fired. He's probably still reloading the KV-2. But he has got to go in. Because when you are in these 1 versus 5 situations. Apple Tank is in right now. You can't hang around and wait for the enemy to get towards you. You have to go towards the enemy team. And get as many guns out of the game as possible. And as quickly as you can. There we go guys. KV-2 is down. He repairs his tracks very wisely. He's going to reverse side scrape. Just beautiful play here. And the Turan shot in the side. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Approved by Stalin, guys. Stalin is helping him out a lot right now. But yeah, well, what can you do, right? Stalin. Best of Stalin. So the T the Turan gets ammo wrecked, which is nice. 
And now there's only a VK. The VK that he saw from up on the hill. Uh, earlier on in the battle. And the two artilleries are left as well. So he's going to try and search for the enemies of course. He's got around half health. Which is nice. So how will he be able to do this? Of course he goes to the middle. Because yeah, you have to got, you've got the most vision from the middle of the map. So you will probably be able to spot the enemy tanks quicker from the middle. If they are going anywhere near the middle. So let's see what he does. This is so intense. You have, you, you've just taken out two very dangerous tanks. And it looks like you've got a chance in this 1 versus 5. Because if he takes down the VK, he only needs to take down two more artillery pieces. Oh, there's an indication of where one of the enemies is. His base capture siren goes off and that tells Appletech enough about where at least one of the enemy tanks is. No, there are two tanks in the cap right now as we can see. Provided by the very nice uh, capture bar that is not a mod anymore. That is standard the world of tanks, what I really like. So he's got 30 seconds to get back and reset the cap, guys. Let's see what he is going to do and how he is going to try and do this. There's the gorilla. He's not pointing in his direction. Auto aim and... <laughs> yep, that is Stalin again for you guys. I bet Stalin would pay a lot to have this replay under his, uh, <laughs> under his arsenal, if you know what I mean. Would really like to own this replay. So there's the M37. He's got all the time in the world. He auto aims and therefore he misses a shot. Probably should have aimed it manually, but oh well. The T30, the M37 is not going anywhere, as we can see. And of course, the hardest shot <laughs> he is going to hit, of course, which is very nice. And now the VK is being spotted. He bounces a shot. Apple Tank is nicely going to is going nicely going to side scrape around the corner. He puts an easy shot into the VK. The VK fired and bounced. So now it is pretty much a case of side scraping. And careful. Boom. There goes the last enemy tank. All the team. 1 versus 5 engagement. Won by Apple Tank in a T-150. Of course Stalin helped him out. But this was just an amazing replay. Let's take a look at the post game stats. Congratulations Apple Tank on the medal that I haven't been able to get legitimately, the Kolobanos medal, as well as an Ace Tank and a Redley Walters, just amazing medals to pick up mate. And I have to say Stalin certainly was on your side in this battle, not the RNG gods but Stalin and Stalin only was on your side during this battle. Thanks a lot for sending in your amazing replay, I laughed a lot while watching this and I hope you guys enjoyed to watch this video as well. If this video sparked your interest in sending in a replay yourself, I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. The replays don't have to be anything extraordinary, but the better the game, the quicker I will feature it. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!